on today's show, Brax, you don't know yeah. this, oh, but right. our phone in is a mystery guest that oh, you that you have spent a bit of time with. Whether it could be a school friend, it could be an old girlfriend, it could be oh, another, another player, another sportsman, another celebrity. Um, but before he or she comes on the line, I'm yeah. going to give you a few clues okay, okay. to who it might be. So, yeah, look, yeah. you're obviously a popular man and you've mixed oh, in the perfect. celebrity circles and the sporty circles and the corporate right. circles. It could be anyone, mate. Um, but uh, I've been given a few clues okay. from your agent. From your agent. From my agent. All right. This agent. Is, uh, I'm, no, I'm, no, these these are my clues. Well, okay. the first one is a terrible clue. Is an only child. As if he's that's an only. He's an she, only child. He or she is an only child. It's not going to be my brothers or sisters, then, is it? So. Uh, uh, I'm going to say pass. Uh, okay, okay. So we're on to the next clue now. Grew up in Dorset. In Dorset? So it's down in the West Country. Someone who I may have played at was, when I was at Bristol. Is okay, this a no. celebrity? Is it a celebrity? Oh, five, five seconds, five seconds. Is it a celebrity or is it is it just a random? I'll tell, I'll tell you what, this one will give a little bit more away. 42-year-old performer who has been in the bill. Oh, 42-year-old performer. Is he, is he a singer? Yes. He's a singer. Uh... 42-year-old singer who's been in the bill. Okay, clue number four. <laughs> this is, right, okay. Formed a band in early 2000. From Boyzone? No, formed a band in early 2000. Formed a band? I'm going to say... 42-year-old who's been in the bill who formed a band in 2000. So he's, I guess he's, a, he's, he's... Well, mate, it could, be, it could be a girl group, you know? Why are you, why are you be, obsessing okay. the fact it's a he? Might it be, could it be Suzanne Shaw? No. Um, one, Is she in steps? Is she in steps? One, no, no, no. One... The MTV Asia Award for Favourite Pop Act in 2003. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> Look, this is your agent, mate. This is not me. <laughs> okay, this should be a bit easier. Took part in Dancing on Ice. H. Sorry? H. No. Was partnered with Maria Filipov. Is it Gareth Gates? No. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, Maria Filipov. Who was with Maria Filipov? Maria Filipov. Last clue, because this oh, is hey, it. Duncan, J Duncan James. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Oh, yeah. I love Duncan James. He hey, you had one, a... mate, you had one clue it. left. One clue left. What was it? Came third in the same series as you. Oh, Ooh. man. Can I say, if, if he's on the line, what a legend he is. Duncan James. Gee, have, have you seen him in Rocky? Is it, uh, I think, the Rocky Horror Show? He's there he is. There he is, Duncan. Where is he? Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Brax, I just doing? before Brax says see. hello, he got you. I had eight clues to give him, right? Oh. On who the, you're a mystery guest, by the way. He didn't know you were coming on. Hey, and I, he, he had eight clues. He got it on the seventh. So, oh, okay. so clearly he doesn't know you that well. <laughs> it's been a long I, time. My friend, listen, can I just say, can I just say when we were doing... I, I had a man crush on you. I think you're possibly the best looking bloke I've ever met in my life. Oh, <laughs> and you're still looking good. Look at the state of me and Nick Easter. How's life? Because um, 
do you know what? You've got all these awards for uh, the Rocky Horror Show, and uh, is it the, not the Rocky? What was it? The uh, was it the Rocky Horror? What was the uh, Rocky you, Horror? Yeah. Yeah, but you've got all these awards, and when you dressed up, you look amazing. So I love to have come to. Are you doing any more shows? Because I love to come to one like that. I don't think anybody's doing any shows at the mirror at, at the moment. It's just all a bit no. crazy, isn't it? But yeah. I've, I've not seen you, Kieran, in bloody years. How have you been, mate? Are you still skating? Been, no, no, no. Have a little look at that. You see, wow. you've aged quite well. No, yeah, exactly. You see that? Got, For like, oh, no, I'm I've jealous. I'm That'd really be a jealous, shocking. Dun Duncan, I want to know. I'm struggling to believe, right? I've seen your dance moves, you know, especially for Blue in the videos. <laughs> Not, not probably not many rehearsals. I'm struggling to understand how Kieran pipped you to the post in the uh, Nancy on Ice in 2007. Kieran uh, was all—he was very strong. He was very powerful. He could—he could get his uh, dance partner right above his head very easily. And back then, I wasn't—I wasn't a gym boy back then. And I uh, oh, look at you now. Yeah. Oh, mate, I heard it had something to—I heard it had something to do with secret meetings and uh, st stayovers at the hotel with the judges. Is that not true? <laughs> that, helps. that helps, my man. Eh? So, yeah, listen. Not knocking on, uh, knocking on Christopher Dean and Jane Torvald's door. I heard that would have been quite one regularly, one. or ordering them yeah. room service. Duncan, I keep seeing pictures of you sort of uh, coming out of the gym. You look like you're keeping shape in lockdown. You're still doing your weights. I'm trying. I've got a little home set up, like just behind me in the corner there. I'm just, I'm, oh. I'm in lockdown with my mum. But oh, I tell you great. what, I'm missing the gym so much. It's horrible, man. It's really, uh, it's. That whole social aspect of going to the gym and, you know, yeah. I miss all that. I miss all of that. So are you still if, skating, Kieran? No, I haven't skated in years, mate. I mean, I, I did a tour. I did my own tour. I did all that. I had a great time. But you know what? I had to get a real job. So life's a bit different for me now. My kids are growing up. Uh, so, yeah, no, life is good. But I keep seeing you popping up everywhere and all sorts of shows, getting awards. So how's it? How's life in lockdown for, a, for you know, for a celebrity, you know, actor, singer? Uh, it must be ch tough at the moment, is it? I think I think we're all in the same boat, and that's the only way I can get through it mentally in my head. You know, like all the theatres are closed. We don't know when they're going to open. Nobody's kind of telling us anything, and it's difficult for for live work because, mm. as you know, I I base my my work on performing on a stage with a group of people watching. Yeah. So you know, all live gigs at the moment, we can't fly and do gigs around the world. Everything's just kind of stopped. But have you said that? I'm really enjoying spending some time with my mum, quality time with my mum, cooking. She's so, she's a character, isn't she? She's amazing. She's all <laughs> Tell us some stories. Tell us some stories. <laughs> you know, it's just me and my mum. We're, we're very close. It's just, we don't have any, I don't have any brothers or sisters, no dad or anything. So literally me and my mum are very close. So it's been really nice for me just getting to spend some more time with her, quality time. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's great, mate. It's yeah. great. Listen, um, just regards, you know, you, you being a performer, it's so different, isn't it? So sport was back with the Bundesliga. But, of course, that's a competition, so they have to, you know, try yeah. and get the end results. Um, yeah. And I don't know whether you watched or flicked. I flicked it over for maybe five minutes or something. Yeah, it's just not the same. But, um, you know, for, for, for you performing in the theatre or on stage, if, if you sort of had, you know, I don't know, maybe a fifth or a quarter of the audience there, um, yeah, just talk through, you know, in terms of the buzz and the atmosphere, you know, how that would feel. Um, because watching that Bundesliga, it was, it was the acoustics and the eeriness of it that was actually probably um, yeah. the, the biggest sort of shock in terms of watching live sport on telly. I think, I think, look, I think everything's going to change from the world that we've known. And that's what's really scary. And it's the unknown is also the, the scary thing. I don't know how it's going to work. I mean, every year I do pantos, pantomimes at Christmas. I mean, I don't know if that's going to happen this year. I don't know how they're going to socially distance people unless they get a vaccine. Um, it's just, it's just really, un everything's just really uncertain. I think the world won't be able to get back to its feet until we get this vaccine, which I heard is, is hopefully going to be in the autumn now. So we'll see. Yeah. Did you ever, Duncan, did you ever, um, did you ever play rugby at school? Because um, if me and Nick, were, if I was to pick a position for you in, in, uh, in rugby, I reckon you'd be a, an inside centre. What do you reckon, Nick? Look at that. Hey, I was going to. I was going to say, mate. He's got a bit of the Henry Slade about him, hasn't he? Yeah. I'll tell you yeah, what. When yeah. I was a kid, when I was a little boy at school, and I used to play rugby, I hated it. By the way, because I was really <laughs> little. I was the smallest in my class. I was tiny. So they all, they all used to make me be a rook. <laughs> Stick yeah, you listen. in there, cannon fodder. I was crash test, I was, crash test I was, dummy. 
I was the crash test, and I hated it because I always used to get absolutely beaten and uh, covered in mud. And um, yeah, it was just horrible because I was literally the tiniest. And I'm I'm quite lucky. I, I grew up to be quite a, a bulkier guy, but um, but yeah, I used to hate it. But I was quick. I was fast. So they used to use me to, because I was I was fast. I, I, just out of interest, I, I think you know Blue had the reunion and sort of coming, you know, every now and again doing tours. Is, is that on the horizon as well? I mean. You know that you sort of there's always a, a, a want to get these you know boy bands back and touring and stuff. Yeah. Is that is there anything in the future? You know, I never say never to stuff, but at the moment everything's like on hold. Nobody really knows what's going on. I was going to be doing a show this year, but it's been pushed back to next year. So I, I'm really kind of a bit like like up in all. I just I just don't know, and it's just annoying to not know because I'd like to have a bit of a plan of where I'm going in my life, but. But at the at the same time, like I said, I'm, I'm quite happy just plodding along, and um, we'll just figure it out, I guess, when we get there. But who knows, Kieran? You know, I never say never. No, never, never say never. Say. I mean, how much how much sort of training, if you like it, do you do? Sort of voice or dance moves, acting. Um, how much have you been that. doing? Have you just been enjoying your time with your mum, learning yeah, how to cook her um, recipes? I've done a couple of like online stuff. I, I did a little singing thing, which was nice with a couple of people, friends of mine, and we did that. And then, you know, I seem to be doing all these Zoom meetings a lot every day now, which is crazy. But do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just chilling really with my mum. I, I, my biggest thing is I can't get to the gym. Luckily, we back, we're backed onto a golf course. So it's been, it was quite handy because I could take my bike, my mountain bike, and go riding around the golf course. I'm sure the golf owner is going to be annoyed because they've got bike marks <laughs> everywhere now. But now but they're I, back, yeah. aren't they? So you can't do no, it you anymore. Can, no, you can go and have a hit. Back now. Take the game up. Take the game up, mate. You can go and have a hit. Yeah. Do you know what? I might, it's just literally out the back of my house. So I might might have to start taking up golf. Kieran, do you play? Dude, I'm pretty bad, though, mate. I mean, uh, you yeah. know, I'd hack that course. Uh, you're probably in a nice area. Are you Hampstead? Is that where you are? You, no, I'm down in Surrey. Ah, uh, down in Surrey. Okay, yeah. I'm Whereabouts? down in I'm like Walton on Thames, Waybridge, Shepherd, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, near you, Nick. Yeah. Hey, nice, but listen, uh, can I just can I just say I loved I loved your company on Dance United. We had a great crack together. We did, didn't we? We had a, some great tours together, and uh, yeah, you were you were one of the nicest, funniest, uh, most entertaining. Had some great nights out with you, and uh, I'm so ple- I'm so pleased I've got your ne- not got your name right after the clues. I would have killed myself if I got that. What one. were the clues then? What kind of clues were uh, they? It, no, it, they were really hard. The first one was um, he's an only child. Oh, okay. An only child. I was like, they, then they said down in Dorset, and then they said you're in the bill, and I was going down Dorset in the bill. I was like, what? And then formed a band in 2000. And then I was thinking steps. Lisa was steps. Was like, then it said Suzanne Shaw, and then and then it got to. Um, yeah, it just got to you with um, uh, Maria. Uh, who was your partner? It was uh, Maria. Yeah, Maria. Maria. And then I straight away I went Gareth Gates, and then I went no, and I was like, oh, ah, oh. oh, you yeah, got it. Perfect. What was the, what was your girl called? Your partner? Um, Mel. Uh, Mel- Mel- Melanie Lambert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you, do you ever yeah, still yes. speak to them? Do you ever still speak no, to them? No, I haven't spoken to them in years, years. Yeah, All yeah. just. Are you watching it now? Then it was a big, big surprise. Did you watch the the, the recent one where Joe Joe Swatch won, didn't they? Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I, I did watch it. I I thought Perry was going to win it. I was oh, like, Perry convinced. was amazing, wasn't I was he? Convinced. But it's a popularity show at the end of the yeah. day, isn't it? And as I well, was, you know. I was I was always a fan of Jason Gardner being on the panel, but um, I, I was he, Yeah, me too. Feels I was weird, a little bit like it? I'm sure it's John Barryman at first. Now he's all right. He's okay. Yeah, no, he's, he's good. He's good. But I just was a little bit like, um, I miss Jason, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, th- I think everyone does a little bit, yeah. yeah. But it was a bit a big surprise that uh, Perry didn't win. But you know what? That's it. You know, that that's yeah. maybe, I mean, I, I had a great time. I loved it. Any any reality TV show on the horizon for you? You'd be great in a few of the things they do. Oh, I don't know. Would you, would you do Strictly? Well, I'm not, they don't cross them over, do they? I can't dance, mate. Listen. I can Listen, I've, seen I can't dance. I've seen you dance. I've seen you dance. Yeah, you are. Hey, those uh, those sequins would uh, they'll, they'll need a f- fair few replacements, won't they? With that toilet, probably a few splits going on during a live performance, I'd imagine. Listen, mate, it took me four weeks for Duncan to persuade me because I looked like a ghost on Dancing Nights. He said, "Kieran, 
have a spray tan. And I was like, oh no, the rugby lads would give me so much abuse. After four weeks looking like a ghost, I came out looking like I'd just been to Barbados. I looked amazing. <laughs> and I had them, I had them every week after you that. Did. And even after it, even after Dancing Eyes with Over, I was still allowing them. So there you go. It. it rubbed off on me. Listen, thanks Love for your it. time, mate. You're a star. No thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, listen, Cheers, take mate. care and enjoy the lockdown with your mum. Send them yeah, hopefully not too long, mate. Yeah, take care, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. See you. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.